Hey everybody, what's up? This is Brian with GamesUnderPressure.com and today I'm going to be taking a look at the newly released Dying Light DLC called Cuisine and Cargo. So this is available right now for $4.99. You can pick it up. And what's interesting is that it doesn't seem, I haven't played through it yet, but it doesn't seem like there's a whole heck of a lot included in this first episode of DLC. So I hope in playing this they prove me wrong, uh, but we'll see. So first of all, uh, I, a lot of people might say, wow, you know, like this game came out two weeks ago. Why are they coming out with DLC so soon? And you know what, for me, I'm okay with it because I absolutely love this game. Uh, I did everything that's available to do, all the side missions, all the challenges, all the main story quests. So any more Dying Light DLC, I'm super happy with. Any more Dying Light content, I will take because I love this game. So let's get into it right now. And keep in mind that, you know, all my levels are maxed up here. So, and I have very powerful weapons. So if it looks a little bit easier, um, you know, that, that's just because I, I'm a pretty high level. So I'm just going to go through this, see how quickly I can clear both of these, and at the end, hopefully, tell you whether or not uh, this is a good value to buy. I'm hoping so, because I, I love this game. All right, so this first one, Close Manhole Covers and Zombies Killed Zero. So from what I can gather, uh, this is not just a clear the nest mission like... Some of the quarantine zones are. Uh, however, it does keep track of your kills. And uh, I just poked my head in here before I started the video just to make sure that I was in the right place and uh, that I wasn't going to start the video and um, nothing was going to happen. So what it, from what it looks like, you have to um, clear the zombies in order to have a pretty good uh, chance of, of closing those manhole covers so I'm just gonna go through fairly quickly cause a little mayhem here some of these virals come to me because they, they have a tendency to swarm and then they do the dodging shit and it gets super annoying I will tell you, this game is my surprise of the year so far. I was looking forward to Dying Light, but I gotta say, like, I never really thought it would be um, excellent. You know, it, it, Techland, you know, they, they have, you know, D Dead Island was good. It was really good. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. But at the same time, there were aspects of that game that were slightly janky, let's be honest. Some weird bugs and... Uh, the combat always felt a little bit clunky, and it's not a huge improvement here, but I, I do think it is better. Now, it looks like these virals are going to keep coming out of the manhole. Close them with the containers. Okay. All right, so I think I figured it out here. Uh, what you have to do, and this is fairly obvious, I was just missing it. Uh, there are the big containers that are very conveniently placed over uh, the manholes. So you can just grapple up here, hit that, and close it. Super simple. Uh, is what, What's going to happen is the virals are going to keep coming out of the container until you close it. That one's done. And then uh, clear the nest. So once you take out uh, the manhole cover, the, uh, uh, the uh, zombies are going to stop coming out of that, which makes sense. And then you have to clear the nest of all the zombies. So not unlike the other quarantine zones. Now, 
now it's just a matter of tracking down all of the zombies. Some of them are in these containers, I think. Making it much more inconvenient. Yeah. Maybe? Okay, or not? It says there are zombies down here. I don't see any zombies up here either. Is there a door over here? No? They make it very convenient. I don't know why you can't grapple up there. Let me just put a little out of reach. Or not. Okay, I think those zombies are outside then. So, that was 50% of the DLC already. That was 50%. Not off to a wonderful start. I, uh, after screwing around because I didn't know what the hell I was doing in there, I'm at about 10 minutes. I fast-forwarded the video a little bit just so you wouldn't see me bouncing around in there not not knowing what I was doing but I'm at 10 minutes and 30 seconds real time play so from the time that I entered that quarantine zone to now is 10 minutes so what I'm going to do now I think the other quarantine zone is in Old Town so I'm going to stop the video here I'm going to get to Old Town and then I'll do the same thing where I pick this up right at the entrance so, uh, while I was running to the other uh, quarantine zone, I noticed something weird on my map, which was just a bunch of arrows over here. Um, and I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is a glitch. Uh, I don't know what this is, but you can see there seems to be an area below me where there are a whole bunch of zombies. Which is... Very, very strange. So, I don't quite know what to make of this. I don't know if the DLC is adding glitches to this. But it's really weird. Like, and I, I don't know how to... I don't know if there's anywhere to go beneath me here. Um... But this is just... It's really bizarre. I don't know what's going on. And you can... Uh, see, they're, they're just sort of like all over the map here. I... I don't really get it. <laughs> All right, sorry for that glitchy little detour, but I am here at the second uh, quarantine zone in uh, Old Town, and we're going to check this out. This is Three Moons Restaurant. Now the first one was just over 10 minutes, so we'll see what this one is all about. Uh, now this is a drop mission, so you just um, basically go around trying to look for those airdrop containers pretty similar to some of the other quarantine zones. That's pleasant. Mm -hmm. 
And they're trying to throw some jump scares at you here with the breaking pipes and shit. Yeah, I appreciate that their new um, new venues and new locations, uh, which is which is cool. I really like the art in this game. I think the locations are, are awesome, and so I like seeing more of it. That's cool. But there hasn't been any new voiceover in these. Oh, I gotta go in the shitter. Apparently that one's occupado. <sighs> yeah, this one contains a lot more jump scares than are in almost the... In more jump scares in this than there are in the entire game of Dying Light. I don't know if these jump scares are particularly well done, however... Seems sort of haphazard, I don't know. I hear a zombie. There we go. Clear the hall. There's another drop. I mean, now I'm just trying to get through this as quick as you can. Uh, there, you know, if you want to explore and stuff, whatever. But... There seems to be a hole... Heck of a lot here to explore. Another one of those creepy little baby things. <laughs> and that's it. Gotta be kidding me. Alright, so um, I stopped the video because I didn't know how to get out. And what I found is that the door to the exit uh, is glitched. So I am stuck in here. I can't get out. Uh, so overall, you know, not too great for $4.99. Um, it took me roughly 13 minutes including sort of wandering around in the first quarantine zone. So in reality, you can get through all of the content in here in roughly 10 to 15 minutes total. Total. And that's like with exploring and collecting shit and doing all that. Plus, it's kind of buggy. Uh, as you can see, I can't get out of here. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do. Um, I hope that it will spawn me back uh, in the actual world because I'm stuck. Um, so yeah, if you really don't care about five bucks, if five bucks is nothing to you and you are so desperate for more Dying Light content that you don't mind putting up with additional bugs and you don't mind a complete lack of content, I think Cuisine and Cargo or Cargo, Cargo and, no, Cuisine and Cargo is something that you should check out. But I, like, if you're just sort of a casual Dying Light fan that actually values five dollars, totally cannot recommend it uh just not that great so i hope that the next uh piece of dlc is better than this because wow this is really shitty this is like dead rising three levels of shit right here um as always i appreciate you guys watching and if you would please give the video a thumbs up uh and subscribe i'll uh keep doing videos like this i have another first look at super stardust ultimate or ultra yeah super stardust ultra uh so check that out if you like twin stick shooters on the playstation 4 and i will catch you next time